is Karen of the Lake Stamper here in Michigan, and it's Wind Down Weekend, and it's Cosmo Weekend. So cheers to everyone. Have a sip. Mm. Okay, and it matches my whole theme, right? So we're going to be using the 12 Christmas and the 12 Tiding Suite. We're going to be using the designer paper from that series. Real red, real red cardstock. And we are going to make an explosion card, uh, explosion box, I should say, not card. The box is going to coordinate with my Joy of Giving tag set that I just did and cards that you can make out of that set. So it's going to be simply divine, all, everything matching and coordinating, which is great. Also, don't forget we're using the country uh, floral embossing uh, folder. So, we're going to move all this wonderful stuff that I already got cut and ready to go. We're first going to do a 12 by 12 uh, cardstock. You need, you need a nice big for a nice big box, right? And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down 4 inches, turn it around, go down 4 again, turn it around. I've already done it, so I'll just do it quickly for you. Go down 4 again, 4 inches, and one more, 4. You should have 9 boxes. All right, once you have the nine boxes, put this to the side. We're gonna use the designer paper. That's gonna be next. The designer paper can be either side. If you wanna use green, perfect, or whatever paper that you wanna use is up to you. We're gonna uh, score this at one inch four times, okay? Uh, let me get the bigger ball here. I'm gonna use that side. Score it, turn, score, turn, Score, turn, and one more. And there we go. We've got our one inch four times, okay? So you see that? You should be able to see that pretty good. Okay, now we're done with our scoring tool. So let's move this away. Whoops. And now we're just going to kind of get an idea where our little lines are. So I'm just gonna do a quick fold. Okay, there we go. This is gonna be our top, our lid. So what I wanna do is I wanna make the wedges like we did before. So I'm gonna use the green side because I can see that just a little bit better. And I'm gonna go up to the score line of each one of them. Should be one inch. And I'm gonna make a wedge again. A wedge and a wedge, okay. So it should look just like this. Simple wedge. All right, let's go to the next one. And again, one inch, because you can see where the, the score line stops at what, one inch, okay? We're gonna score it, and then we're gonna score it again. Go to this one, just make sure you don't cut it off. I have done that before, and oh, you have to start all over again. Wedge it like a cheese, wedge again. There we go. It just makes for a lighter amount of cardstock you're playing with, and it doesn't make it so heavy. And it makes it easy folding. So wedge right here, wedge. Nice. See how nice that is? Okay. Now, this is the easy part, okay? We're literally just gonna, you've already seen that I folded this, we're literally just gonna uh, glue this to this one edge here and then see how it's starting to take shape so you can use this kind of glue if you like you can use your uh, snail whatever you want to use that you feel comfortable using um, I usually do put a little snail on these guys first um, this is the in fact this is the side that I want up okay so since I want this side to be the lid I'm going to um, snail these if I wanted this side, I would have snailed the, the green side. So I'm gonna snail, I'm gonna snail just the, um, my wedgies, <laughs> my wedgies. And then if I need to do it, I'll use some super glue. Super strong glue, or uh, what do you call this one? It's fine tip. All right, so first one, nice, get it nice and even. See that? Nice. The second one should turn right into that lid. There we go. And you've got, see how it's 
now it's really starting to stay, take shape. There we go. And then we're going to do this one. And the last one. There we go. We've got a lid. All right. Now, uh, as we start seeing, we can also use um, dots if you want to, too. If you don't want to use liquid glue, there are the dots you can use as well. So we're done with the lid. We're just going to let it dry. And I'll put a little bit more on here just to see if it'll... Otherwise, I will use a dot later on. Sometimes I put too much glue on. All right, so that's done. Okay, so the next guy is my base. So you'll see that there's nine. Okay. Nine, uh, four four inch blocks right in here. So what we're gonna do next is we are going to start cutting. Now, I know you're excited about this, but let's, let's think about this first. We are going to do a diagonal on each of these, okay? So, okay, so I'm making a diagonal line, all right? And uh, I'm going to be cutting this, and you'll see this better once I cut. Okay, so I'm going to make a line so you can see it. All right, there's the line. Actually, I could have made it just a little bit more here. Let's just do that because I'm going to cut that one anyway. Okay, so we're going to center this one right down to the corner of this one here. Okay, because that's where we're going to cut. So it makes it really, really easy. We're going to center and then go to the end. So center to the bottom. Of course, it'd be nice if you have a ruler. It's easier to do. But this will work too. <laughs> and then one more. And we're going to center this little guy. Okay. Make sure I didn't screw him up there. All right, there we go. Red on red, it's just, you know, there we go. Okay, simple. Now, we're just going to cut right where my line is. That's why it doesn't matter, because we're not going to see this. So don't worry. It's like a wedge, but it's in the middle, all right? And we're going to cut one of them out, off, I should say, not out. But first, I want to just do the line so you get an idea. If you're, if you're a person that likes to uh, do quilts, you'll get an idea. This reminds me of the flying geese. So we're gonna just cut this little guy right off. Okay. There we go. And just so I can see him better, I'm gonna score him so I can see him a lot better. The whole idea is after we've scored this, see, those lines you won't ever see, is that we're going to have a, like a little napkin. Doesn't that look like a cute little origami? <laughs> All right, see that? So remember that moment? So let's go over here and cut these wedges off. Remember, we're going to the center of the scoring line. Do not cut this one off. Cut the opposite side off, okay? And it's easy to remember. If you don't remember, you've got this little guy here. Keep these guys, because you can use them for something else. Now, these remind me of flying geese when you're doing a, a beautiful uh, quilt. So this is, this is what this reminds me of when you're doing one of those. Uh, I do machine uh, quilting and embroidery, so... That's what that reminds me of. <laughs> I know. There we go. And then this one is going to, now remember I had two lines. I made a boo-boo. Who cares, right? Because it's going to be cut right off. And that's all about just trial and error. No one's ever going to see it. If you can't see the line that well, just score it a little bit so you can see it better. There we go. Okay, 
All right, now, there we go. So, we've got the base of our, of our explosion box, okay? Now we need to make it pretty, because it, it is kind of boring right now. <laughs> it's a boring box. <laughs> it's a boring explosion, it doesn't explode at all. So, what I did is I made, oh, I cut, I should say, I cut a whole bunch of three and three quarters times three and three quarters, okay? So what I want to do is I want to put four of these on the bat, on the, I'll show you where those go, and I'm going to show you where these go right now. I'm going to do, um, oops, I want to do this one here, I want to do this twelve here. And I want to hold that thought because I'm going to show you what to do on this one. This is my country floral embossing paper. I used Whisper White. And I'm going to put that right smack in the middle just for a little texture. This will be great to put like a, uh, a really cute coffee mug or something cute like that in there. Isn't that cute? Doesn't that give you an idea of where we're going with this? Are you, are you with me? Are you on the same page? Super. I'm going to take these off for a minute. But let's turn this around, because this is our base. And I think our base needs to have a little, little bit more excitement, don't you think? So I could either do the green or the red or, or both. I could interact it, you know, make it kind of fun. And again, these are three and, three and three quarters times three and three quarters, okay? I cased the idea by Nola, and she did a really great job on her explosion card, and so, uh, explosion box, I should say. Uh, I'm doing it a little bit different in colors and schemes, but uh, it's, a, it's, a great, it's a great opportunity to really learn how to use these and kind of make these boxes, because this is so cute for uh, on stage. I'm going to on stage Lansing. This will be great for a gift. Then I might do, um, I think it'll be just darling. Um, or a gift for my daughter to put something in. That'll be nice. Right? All right. So I'm just going to put the first one down. This gives it a little bit more excitement on the outside. And then I'm going to put this one. And it looks like I'm about ready to run out of, I know, just when we're doing it live, right? Okay, I'm back, getting... I had to get some more snail. <laughs> there we go. Don't you hate when you run out of snail? And then just have a nice little border around so you can still see the real red color. I don't need, that's why I didn't want it to be right on the money there. Um... This will be so cute. All right. Nice. And then here we go. There we go. Okay, so that so our bottom is done. All right some glue there. Let's make sure I don't get it on anything. So let's put that there. Okay. Now our next one is our Country Floral Embossing in Whisper White. I'm going to put that in the middle. That's going to need a little bit more glue because that's very uh, embossed, shall I say. <laughs> okay, so we could do green inside if we wanted to. That may be an idea. Uh, so let's hold that thought for a minute. Um, I'm thinking there's still the red. I'm thinking red. What do you think? And I'll, I'll tell you why. Uh, I'm going to do this. You see this is three and, a, uh, three and three quarters times three and three quarters. What I want to do is I want to make a nice line just like we did with our wedges. I'm going to do that on my cutter. On my trimmer. Okay. So here's my trimmer. What I'm doing, literally, I'm just going right down the middle. Okay, and I've got it, there we go, point to point, bam, 
See, does this remind you of flying geese? It does if you are a person who does a whole bunch of, this would be so cute as a, uh, as a quilt block, don't you think? Look at that. All the flying geese. <laughs> okay. All right. TMI. All right. Let's uh, let's take this one here, and we're gonna do two sets of these. So you need you need two of these at three and three quarters. There we go. Times three and three quarters, and then down the middle, point to point. Okay. So remember that moment for just a minute. What we want to do is we want to put this little guy right here and we want to put this one right here so that'll be so cute okay but you got to make sure that you don't glue this because you can't put anything in it this is where you could put some money or you know a card or any kind of fun stuff like that so first we're gonna glue this down okay there two I made I cut extra so I I'm feeling, I'm feeling really good Okay, it's kind of hard to see it because it's red on red and okay there we go that was my problem I couldn't see the the end part of it okay and I'm just gonna do a little bit more on that get him down and remember this is gonna be folded so you're not gonna have to worry if you're off a little bit okay now this side I could do I think I'm gonna do that I like this but I've got those so I'm gonna do some green just to snazz it up a little bit okay so I think that's kind of fun <laughs> I'm on a roll okay see how easy these triangles are it's all math. <laughs> if they had given me scrapbooking in high school, I think I would have done a lot better in math. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. Now you could either have the red out and the green, or you could have the green out with a little bit of the red. So I'm going to put the red inside. I like the way the green looks. And, but now this is the tricky part. You have to make sure that you are not going to tape and glue everything inside because if you do that you won't be able to put something inside this see that so uh, what we're gonna do is you see this little guy here you see where he goes right down to the right down here we're gonna just glue this right here very bottom very lightly very lightly of course, I, I put a whole bunch. That's great. <laughs> and I'm going to just sit here and think about that. <laughs> of course, I did too much. Of course. Where's my handy towel? Ah, super. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, I like my snail better than my glue. That's just me. Now this one, you're gonna tape here to here only, so you can open up the, um, you can put something in this in this pocket. There we go. Oh, he's starting to dry, so that's great. So I'm just gonna leave him. I'm gonna put something, you know what, I'll put this on here. There we go. <laughs> He can dry it there. Super. All right. Now let's go th to this side. Again, same thing. I'll just do this quickly and then uh, I'll be right back. I glued the green twill and the red twill and uh, now we're ready to just glue the whole thing down. So remember, take your left side, just put a nice, uh, you can also use uh, this tape as well if you like. Uh, it just depends on what your, your mood is, okay? So I'm just gonna, just that one area is, you don't wanna glue this part, you'll glue the whole pocket shut. Now this little guy, you'll see, if you look at it at the hinge, you wanna, you wanna do the glue here and up to here, okay? 
So just kind of eyeball it and then right here at the very bottom and then shut. There we go. Shut the door. <laughs> How cute is that? Huh? Okay, I'm going to take my nice little metal, my nice little Waterford piece off of that one. That one's nice and dry now. That one looks great. Um, this one is nice. Okay. Now, this is getting to be exciting here. This is our country floral embossing. We're going to put that right in the middle. I think I'm going to put it this way. Okay. And let's get... Okay, I've got this piece to use here. I wondered if I wanted to do this or if I wanted to do something different, but I, I am liking that. Okay, so I'm feeling better. For some reason, this little guy did not look it, so he goes over there. I'm like, I know I, I, know I did it right. <laughs> so I'm gonna have them all the same way. So if, if you know, whatever way you're looking at them, uh, just make sure that they're, they're all straight and uh, looking either at you or uh, you know opposite you, but that they're not all different ways. So this is in this direction, and I'm going to put this floral in the same direction as this one. Perfect. Isn't that cute? Now, the embossing one usually is needs the most on as far as gluing, and I will probably put some more stuff afterwards. I just want to get this down first. Um, the pretty rose on there, see that? So it's going to be real pretty as its base or bottom of the whole um, box, I should say. Now see, look at that, so far. I'm just gonna start giving it a nice little edge. Doesn't it look cute? Look at that, huh? Now, see? Look at that, so far so good. So, I think you could put a really cute little mug in here and it'll be just darling. Um, I'll get one to see how it fits. Um, Starbucks one would be great. Uh, any kind of cards would be great. Now, what we're gonna do is, right in here is where our little stamp thing is going to go, a little, a little card, okay? I made these three and a quarter times three and a quarter. They should fit, they do. And we're just going to double check. We're going to do it this way. Let's see. This one, it's the same as this one, but this one fits in better. I see, and make sure I didn't glue it down. <laughs> okay. I, and there we go. I didn't. Okay, we're good. All right, just making sure. <laughs> I'm just as guilty as you guys. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna move this to the side because we're really pretty much almost done with this. We're gonna add some embellishments, which will be kind of cute, but right now we're gonna do a little bit of stamping. We're gonna use the real red, and I've already um, cut some stuff that we're gonna use on the top, uh, so I'll show you those in just a second. And um, this is one of the, uh, may this season be filled with beautiful moments and happy memories for you and those you hold most dear. So that's part of this uh, really pretty stamp set. And we're gonna do the real red and see how it, how it comes out. And I've got a really great idea for a tab. So you're gonna love it. So, okay. Just gonna, I love the, um, I'm starting to love these stamps more than the, uh, the poly ones, I think. I don't know, they just have a better base. Now, just before I, I should stop talking for a second, <laughs> uh, what I want to remind you is um, to just have the, I just want you to have it just a little bit down so that when they open it up, you don't want it centered too much. So I'm just gonna put it a little bit down to the paper. Okay, perfect. The next stamp we're gonna use is Christmas Wishes. 
Again, don't put it center, just put it a little bit lower. Perfect. All right, so we've got both of these already ready, but I've got a really great idea on how to make a tab for these guys. So what I did is I took the uh, brightly gleaming punch, the or the one of the ornaments, it's the bigger one, and you'll see that there's a line right here. So what I said to myself, self, I got an idea. <laughs> So for instance, I'm just going to show you on this scrap piece of paper, hopefully I can get it in. Okay, you see where that, see right where the edge of that is? See that? Now I've made a little tab just by going to the line, to the horizontal line, and bam. Look how cute that little tab will be uh, to put on here so that when they lift up the card, they can lift it with this piece here. So what I did is I did them in the green. Okay. Uh, I might just turn them around and do them in the red. I, I think I'll do one green and one red. I want to bend these over, actually. And the reason is, I forgot about that, I don't want it to bend the opposite way. So um, as much as I like that idea, I think we should fold these up before I forgot. I almost, yep, there we go. Now it's a great little tab. And... I know it was cute, wasn't it? But I will take my little embellishment off. That was a cute idea. <laughs> but this is just as cute. Uh, you can use a, a, a circle punch if you want, if you've got that handy, and just fold it. That's all you're doing. Uh, just find something that you can use that is easy, that you can use half, like I did with that ornament. And then you wanna just glue the other side down. They're not going to see it anyway. And now you can put the embellishments on. All right. There we go. Oh, that was fun. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm killing me. All right. So I'm going to put, where are you when I need you? Get over here. right in the center. I like that. And then this side is going to have the green. All right, so let me get my other tool. I like this one better. Easier to manipulate. All righty. And right in the center. There we go. All right, so the other idea was a good idea. You might want to use it on something else, but otherwise you can still use this, uh, use it halfway, cut it up, and then just uh, take this one area um, and bend it. Now you can do either side, you know, you could have left this side right here. Um, so that one would be seen too. I didn't think of that until just now. So that's an idea too. If I don't, you know, if I don't like this and I want to change it up, I think it's great, but I think they both look darling. So let's just get this ready. Okay. And hold on. Let me get a present to put inside. Okay. It. So we have the base of our of our box okay now we just want to kind of decorate it just a little bit more than we already have and I usually put some dots down and I see them do I see them handy is what I want to know ah uh, I do I think I see them <laughs> they're so hard to see on here don't you think okay so I'm just gonna put these down on my ribbon these are so cute. Okay, perfect. Okay, right at the very corner of your little envelope, you know, right where it folded, you can put these little bows or any kind of any kind of embellishment you want to put on. Okay, there we go. Isn't that cute? How cute is that? Now I'm a big um like I said, I do a lot of embroidery. I did one in twill, and I'll have to, at the very end, I will show you that quilt that I did in twill that was darling. Uh, I did not give that to anybody because it was, it's so cute, uh, and it took a long time to do. <laughs> so, I keep those. 
All right, so inside this explosion box, we could put like a little espresso cup with some goodies in it, uh, a Starbucks card or uh, money or whatever little uh, fun thing you want to put in here to open up for Christmas morning. Again, you can make this for any holiday, but wouldn't this be darling for even a birthday? So kind of gives you an idea. You could probably go a little bit higher with a cup if you wanted to. Uh, the cups I have are pretty big, so... This little cup here did not fit, it was too fat. <laughs> so I'm just giving you an, uh, a cute idea of what you could do, all right? So we're gonna move this just for a second and we're gonna take care of my top. So this is the top. I've got the uh, twall in, in the, on the top here. I've got, now what I did is I, I did a really nice, I wanted it to be all in the same color scheme. So I did my really pretty uh, cardinal and my real red. And I also did uh, this saying, and then I had it cut out in the die cuts. All right, so we're gonna pop those up so you can actually see them. But everything's in the in this red, and I really do like it. I was gonna do the green so you could see the, the bird a little bit more, but I still think it's gonna be gorgeous. So what we wanna do now is definitely get some dimensionals and pop this little this little cardinal right up <laughs> so all right whoops look at that we're almost done with this it doesn't take that long once you get it started and get it going it's like oh my god it's it's almost done <laughs> like we're done <laughs> so I'm gonna pop up my little guy here now the whole idea is so that it coordinates with my uh, joy of giving gift tags and this is really going to coordinate so nicely if you're doing a, a really big 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 thing uh, also there's wrapping paper in the toile if you wanted to buy that to go with it to coordinate uh, another present to go that would be really pretty as well um, I just thought of that that would be really darling but these boxes are, are a lot of fun and they're fun to make and they're not hard. They do, t they do take a little bit of thinking, uh, a little bit of math some sometimes. <laughs> um, you know, make sure you're cutting the right way and you're not cutting something off like I have. I've done that, so I just use the paper for something else then. Okay, so here's my die cut of my lovely my lovely cardinal, and everything again is very monotone because it's all the same. I, I, I knew that going into this. Um, and I'm just going to, and actually if you wanted to, what we could do really quick, let's do, not do three and three quarters, let's do, yeah. I really want that twelve to be seen. Okay, all right, now that's two and a half by two and a half, okay. Like that does give a little bit more so you can see the bird better um, after I thought of that. So uh, probably a wise, wise decision. Good move. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> I'm going to lay this one flat on here. Center it up. Super. Now this little guy's all ready. Okay, now I also have May Your Days Be Merry and Bright. That's gonna look so pretty. So let's put him, so he's kind of supposed to be on something, like leaning on something. So I think I should put it like this. Yep. I'm gonna put him like right here. I'm not gonna put him down hard yet. And let's just get this dimensional up here and this shouldn't take that long to do there we go this is going to be darling I want somebody to make me one <laughs> they're so cute What a great card to get, too. It's a card and a box all in one. You know, it's not just a box. Um, so now I want to put some diamonds on here, but you know what? We can still uh, put this on here. And 
I want him, I want the claws of the bird just to look like it's landed right on the same. There we go. Oh, how cute is that? Now I can get it to. Now for the embellishments, I'm going to use. Um, you know what? I'm going to use green for an eye just to see what it looks like. Yep, I love it. We could also put red there. But hey, there's a cardinal with green eyes. Why not? That brings it up. That's it. Or you could do the red too. I just thought it'd be nice to have a little bit of color. And I'm loving that idea. Oh my God, that looks gorgeous. <laughs> and you really don't need to put too much more on here. You could put a couple more of the uh, little tiny ones if you wanted to right here. Um, you know, I don't know if it really needs it because I've got that, that really nice uh, green in his eye. So I'm gonna hold off on that. I can always look, I can always go back to that later. So let's pretend somebody's going to get some espresso <laughs> and some Starbucks cards. So we're going to fold this up. We've got it all pretty for inside. All right. And the big reveal. <laughs> look at that. Look at that pretty little, look at that. It's a darling, darling little box. Uh, explosion box now it coordinates really well with our tags and another idea is to take some of these tags if you wanted to and you wanted to do something different and not do the cardinal you could put the tags these beautiful tags all on the side of this as well and this would be so so cute so see how you know you can use other kits to coordinate with other stuff and it just is beautiful absolutely beautiful so here we are we have our beautiful twall explosion box and we have the coordinating joy of giving tags and cards that you can make with the tags that coordinate with this box also I have a beautiful quilt that actually goes with it that I made and it has the blended quilting look with the twall in it and that's what twall is all about is blending so uh, with our pretty cardinal on top and pu uh, punched up the saying up there and with a really pretty um, inside, let's see if it opens up. And there we go. <laughs> see, someone's gonna be real excited when they get whatever they get. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I, I think it's going to be a, a great Christmas, whoever gets these little uh, gifts under the tree. It's, they're so beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you uh, want any of the items, I'll have them listed below. And if you don't have a demonstrator and you like what you see, smash that subscribe button. Anyway, have a great evening. Have a great weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye.